Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost Ember. It seems like the game checkpointed us a bit further back from where we actually left off, so we're just gonna run over there and get back to where we left off last time really quickly. Luckily I don't have to explore at all because I handled all that last time, and I guess we get to see more of this uh, beautiful snow landscape. I really like snowy areas in games. I, I think I named one of my uh, Code Vein episodes, I love snowy areas. I guess it's true. I always like the music there and the ambiance, and I just love snow in general, and the cold. I'm kind of like a weird White Walker-esque zombie that loves the cold. So, these kinds of settings appeal to me, and it helps that the music that usually accompanies um, snow settings is always something I absolutely love. So, there we are. A short walk and a talk about snow settings, and we're here. Or I guess I'll run. Wolf wasn't walking. Wolf was sprinting. It's a little ass off. Alright, so wait. How do we... How do we actually get through here without the ram? Because, uh... I used the ram to bust through there. Is is there a ram somewhere around here? Because otherwise I don't know how to actually get through those icicles. Ram? Where are you? That's a weird looking tree. Excuse me? I mean, as far as I know, I can't actually do it with the wolf. I mean, the only special ability the wolf has is take a nap, it seems. Ram is what I want to do to those icicles, so I can actually destroy them. Alright, back down here. How far back was a mountain goat? Hello, mountain goat. They didn't put another one of you up here, and it appears I have need of your services. Hello? Uh, is that another? Yep. Another one of those hiding. Get to the top of the mountain. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do, buddy. But you see, I need a mountain goat. Hopefully right out here. Yes. Thank you kindly. Alright, come on. Let's get your happy little ass over to those icicles so that we can actually take it out. Alright, here we are. Back over here at the icicles. And I have my ram friend. Okay, that's one. I don't think this is how it was intended to be done, but like I said, I can't I can't find another way to actually break these. Besides just exiting with the goat inside this. Because just running at it doesn't work. And as I've said, oh, maybe you jump? No, that doesn't work either. Oh. Oh, left trigger. Okay. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm glad we learned that right at the end when we don't super need it anymore. Eh. As I, I say, as I'm using it currently. So, yeah, I, I guess we do still need it. Hello, one of the last relics in the game. A second ring. There it is. Uh, appears to be one half of some sort of symbol. Second half of a symbol. Well, that's nice. Wonder what the ring was for. Was it a wedding ring? Did somebody get married on this mountain? Probably not the case. Still not positive of uh, what the point of uh, Kalani leading uh, Tevo up here is, but... Excuse me, sir. I just need to get by you. I'm not sure why they didn't put another uh, mountain goat over there. I guess... They didn't think people were going to stop at that particular point. Which I guess is fair. Not, not Most people can probably just sit down and play this game in one or two sessions. But since I'm recording it, it's spread out over many more sessions than it was probably intended to be spread out over. Most people would probably at least do a full chapter. At the very least. Wow, when you stand like this with the goat on the wall, it doesn't look great. Looks weird. But hey, ram the rocks. Can't break those. Seems like... Huh. Any of you guys know where we're supposed to go? Or are you also trapped here? Oh, okay. There we go, up this wall. Forgot the wall is painted to let you know. There's a Tavo. Looks like we need a Wombat to get through here. A little wombatty boy. 
Oh, hello. Loading all that snow, that's what it's doing. Oh, cool, there's a little effect for actually running through the snow. You, like, make a little, uh, path through it. That's nice. Alright, what we got? A brooch. Some sort of brooch. Looks like a simple clip-on mechanism. Yeah. It just has like a little pin that goes through a hole, basically. Maybe it's some sort of badge? Or it could just be a reference to uh, another game that I don't get. Not sure. Right, hey, I got the companion cube. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a... No, there wasn't a Zelda reference. There was just an, an ocarina, I think. Actually, I can I can just look. I got the Pokeball, I got the Mario Warp Pipe, and I got the Companion Cube. And I think that was, those were all of, like, the reference relics, as it were. So, I'm gonna try to make this one the final episode. I said in the last episode I'd be willing to make it an hour, but uh, it is currently 1 p.m., and uh, I have to go to bed at 1.30, so if it starts to hit upwards of an hour, might have a bit of trouble. Okay, apparently it's very, very snowy and hard to move over there. So let's ignore that area for now and instead go over here. Because there could be a relic hiding over here. Also, we get to see more of this. More of Kalani running away from her father. Wow, you can't see anything over here. Wow, I am basically blind. Is there going to be anything over here? Hey, there's going to be a mushroom there is. Look at that. At least we got something for our trouble. <laughs> Running all the way over here. Through the the white mist, I guess is the best way to call it. Best thing to call it. Or fog. Yeah, no, fog is fog's probably a better word. What is that? It's like something red and glowing over there. Oh no, our little wolf body can't keep up with this wind. You can do it, Wolfie. I believe in you. Huh. They must have, like, Kalani in particular, but Atevo as well. Uh, even though he does have some furs on, they must have been freezing their asses off up here. Because this place looks incredibly cold. Chapter 6, Temple of the Sun. Ah, uh, that must be what that red I saw was. Yeah. Huh. Well, depending on how long this is, maybe this won't be the final episode, actually. Hmm. I was kind of assuming it was going to be, but there's a chance it might not be. I can at most go for, like, 40 minutes. So... That's the marker I'm going to aim for. Sometimes the final chapters in games are very short, and sometimes they are like every other chapter, so only time will tell. We do have a few more relics to find, all of which I am not seeing currently, so we can only be up here. I wonder if we make it to this area if the wind stops pushing us because we're behind this wall. That would make sense. Yeah, okay, cool. We can actually move now. I just realized I never found all the mole mushrooms. Which saddens me because I thought I was doing a pretty good job with those, actually. Evidently not, though. Alright, what's down here? It's like this little path. Okay, that just leads back into snow zone. We don't want to go over there. We probably want to stick to these walls to safeguard us from the wind. Wait, how's the wind hitting me right there? Okay, I was about to say, that was weird. Okay, that's not... That is not somewhere we're supposed to go. You, though, are hiding a mushroom. How do these mushrooms grow up here? I still think they look like rainforest mushrooms, not... Arctic mountain mushrooms. <laughs> but, oh well. I don't see any lights to indicate there's a relic over there. 
So I might forego exploring that particular location. If we make it on the road, do we actually walk faster? Maybe because we have that blocking? I'll look over this ridge and I, I think that might be all I do here as far as searching for something because the walking is mighty slow. Poor Kalani can't compete with this wind. Oh no, there's a relic. Oh, had a little skip. It makes sense with how many particles there are on screen. Oh, well, there's a relic, so I gotta at least go get that. There's, oh, I thought, I thought that was a coffin. <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh no. Am I about to grave rob this relic? That'd be bad. What do we got? A fertility statue. These statues were given to young couples. It was supposed to bring fertility to the new relationship. I see. Gotta, uh, get your statues so you can make those babies correctly. I mean, how else are you supposed to make new warriors for the tribe, right? I keep calling them a tribe, but... I mean, I guess they did have, like, a fairly big city. Although, not to say tribes don't have cities... But I don't think of that well-developed cities when I think of tribes. Like, that that was, like, massive stonework in, like, a massive city with a palace. Although I really... I guess it depends on what they choose to call themselves, because... I would think of the Aztecs as having a tribe, and they have a big civilization with massive cities at some point or another in history, so... Who knows? Alrighty. Kalani, why are you floating? I'm sorry! Please! Where are you?
Wolf. I I didn't know, I swear. I was I'm a terrible person. No. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oof. I actually kind of had a feeling that might, uh, that might be the case. I'm gonna be honest. Um, just because it was the only other named character in the game so far, so it was either going to be a nobody or it was going to be a Tevo. Uh, and having it be a Tevo just is some, like, profound sense of irony that they would be hanging out together in, uh, now that their, uh, entire civilization is destroyed. I'm a bit confused as to why, uh, a Tevo, as we now know him, said that Kalani was bringing them here to show them the past? Was the past civilization destroyed because of corrupt kings? Because if that was the case, then I could see that making sense, but if this ancient civilization was also destroyed by revolution, then that would just further his point of this being Kalani's fault. So... Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's just a seeing how great the past was would make you realize that you need to strive to care for all of your people rather than just some and stop putting the needs of the few above the many, etc., etc. Because it's clear people were suffering and it's clear that the emperor or empire didn't really care about that since they were sending soldiers to uh, kill these people and steal their food just because they chose not to live in the city and forsake tradition, I guess. So, it's it's a bit to think about. There is a message there, I am sure. I just might be too stupid to understand it. What do we got here? This thing's gold-plated. This must be Le Temple. Of the sun. Hello, Temple of the Sun. I am here. Just making sure there's no relics hidden around here. I feel like the last relics in the game would probably be some uh, pretty good ones. If I uh, don't do that, that was very loud. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they'd, they'd probably be some pretty good relics, if there were any still hidden around here. It looks like it's mostly just these mushrooms, though. But there's bound to be a relic hidden around here somewhere. And I am bound into... Oh, I just ran right through that stone. The Temple of the Sun doesn't exist. This entire game was a lie. You're just dreaming. Boy, wouldn't that be a twist ending, huh? Most unf unfulfilling ending ever. All right. Anything? No. Does this particular loop uh, actually wrap around, or does it just stop? I will follow it to find out. Regardless, there doesn't appear to be anything here. If only I had mountain goat powers right now, I could just climb up the wall right there and not have to make the return trip. But sadly, no mountain goats in the area. This zone seems devoid of all life except for me, in all honesty. I have a feeling this memory in particular could be the last one of the game. Hello? Aha! There's a relic. Anything hiding back here? Looks like there could be a lot of things hiding back there, actually. Well, let's go grab the relic first and foremost. A golden drinking vessel. Two more left. That looks like the Triforce. A fancy drinking vessel. The owner must have been quite high up in society. So, is this progress, or is this just a little zone that's going to lead to, like, a mushroom? 
Okay, this looks like it might actually lead somewhere else entirely. So let's let's go look at that. Actually, we need a wombat. You know, we can check it out. I suppose we can come back to that memory if it turns out this is progress and we weren't supposed to go this way. Um. Okay, yeah, no, this is totally where we're supposed to go after we view the memory because the wall is right there. Good to know. I see this little hole, though. I didn't catch a wombat around anywhere. Where would a little wombat friend be hiding at? Possibly up here? It's the only place I can really think of. I'm still not sure. Alright, reveal the memory. Just come with me already! What are you trying to prove? You've lost! Accept it! I don't accept anything! It's your fault! All of it! Kalani, stop! Are you too afraid to open your eyes for once? Stop! Kalani, stop it! Kalani! What did you make me do?
Well, I killed you. Wolf. I'm... I don't know what to say. Yep, I don't know what to say either. So, well, that explains why this little area exists. So... I was actually thinking for a second that was going to be the final cutscene of the game, but we clearly have something after this, because it's right down here. That is a big drop. We are very, very high up. So what is this now? That is a big ass eagle. Is that a rock actually? Oh wait, no, it's an eagle. It looked really massive in some of the pictures. All right, so now we're just supposed to fly out of here, I suppose. Seems to be what the game is hinting at. I hope you can forgive me, Kalani. I would understand if you just leave me here. I, I don't deserve the City of Light. I don't deserve you. No. Maybe we should get back down now. Wait, why did he say that? Maybe we should get back down now. That was weird. No, we're gonna keep flapping. You're coming with me to the City of Light. Let's go. Uh, I, I kind of thought that giant orb was the City of Light, I'm gonna be honest. So is the Temple of the Sun supposed to allow you to get to the City of Light? I'm guessing that's what this is going for. Whoa, am I in space? Uh, we flying a bit too high here? Maybe I, maybe I should go down, like he said. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is some copyrighted music for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, so... I'll just stay quiet for this.
Huh. Is this like... Actually, so I, I wasn't going to talk for this, but... I feel the need to point out, is this basically our credit sequence? Are we going to see like... All of the animals that we've seen on our adventure, basically? And also, is this our journey to the City of Light? Hmm. Well, there's one final memory down there. I wonder if there's any relics to find in this particular area. If there was anywhere that was going to have the Triforce, it would be here. So yeah, this video is going to get copyright claimed, but that's not a big deal, in all honesty. It's not like I monetize my videos anyway. And they'll monetize it, but oh well. That certainly looks like an end point if I've ever seen one. Hello, Void. Looks like a, whisper stone. a what? I don't know what that is, but all right. Is that... Uh oh. Oh, I thought we were playing as a Tevo. <laughs> we're still in cutscene. That was just an awkward angle. I. I remember now. I gave you a funeral here. I know you didn't believe in the ritual, Kalani, but this meant a lot to me. Kalani, I, I finally realized what you were trying to tell me with all this. Why you brought me here. I was, I was wrong about it all. I've always been. It was never you who needed guidance to the City of Light, was it? It was me. I'm the Lost Ember. Oh, do you see this? Do you, do you know what this means? That's the City of Light. It has to be. Come on. Chapter 7, The City of Light. Now, I wonder, <laughs> is this going to be a full chapter? Or is it going to be a final lap, so to say, because I am actually out of time. Hmm. Let's, let's run over there. Let's see. I 
I, I am out of time. I could stretch it a bit more, depending. So, Atevo gave us a funeral at the end. I mean, he did kill us. So it's not really uh, redeeming him in any way, but apparently the City of Light seems to think that we both deserve to get in. I thought for a second this was a circumstance where it was moving further away from us <laughs> as time went on, and I'm like, that would be jerkish. I still never found the Triforce. It must be hiding back there somewhere, possibly up in one of those high things. But wow, that final segment was just... I don't know. It was weirdly emotional, mostly because the music is beautiful <laughs> and the game is beautiful and everything. So, I don't know. Music music always resonates with me a lot. Also like the reflection they have here on the water for the City of Light. That's a cool image. The City of Light itself is a cool image, so... Now, is this going to be one of those circumstances where we walk through that door and the game is over? Or are we actually going to explore? Because it did a chapter drop. No! No! Wait! No. What? what? What just happened? Wasn't that the City of Light? I, I, I don't understand. Maybe... Maybe it wasn't. Maybe there isn't even such a thing. Maybe this whole idea... Uh, who even needs it anyway? If there's one thing I learned, it's that you and me, Wolf. That's really all I needed. What? Kalani? But I... Wolf. Thank you.
I hate to annihilate the mood, but I couldn't stop thinking about how that visual looked like a giant Pac-Man. <laughs> this looked like Pac-Man devouring something. Well, that appears to be it for Lost Ember. It was a very, very beautiful game. It had fantastic music. Gameplay definitely took a backseat, but that's kind of what you expect from games like these, and I really didn't mind because just admiring the environment and the music and the tone was the main point of it, I believe. So that was nice. The story itself was simple, but I still kind of liked it. It was still powerful in its own way, just as like a story about revenge and forgiveness and how revenge doesn't doesn't get you anything and that by reconciling and getting over your differences with people can be a better way to achieve peace, I guess, is maybe what they were going for with uh, Kalani and her father, Atevo. It was a fun, fun little game. I'm very, very happy that I did it. I guess these are Kickstarter backers. I have to assume so because there's some weird names in there. Um... It was a fantastic game. I'm really, really happy that I played it. When I saw it initially, uh, I was pretty sure Angus Dick. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to be serious here. Um, when I saw it, I knew I probably wanted to play it. It wasn't much like anything else I've played up until this point, except for maybe Superland. Superland's probably the most similar game I've played to it. I'm not really big into puzzle games or walking simulators, which I would probably classify this as, even though it had a bit more gameplay going on than what you would consider a traditional uh, walking simulator to have. But I, I was just into it, and the idea of taking over the different animals, that was done really well. A lot of the animals felt different and fun to control. The game really didn't do much gameplay-wise, and I, I really don't mind that at all. I mean, honestly, I think they could have even taken out all the mushrooms and just had relics, and uh, that would have been fine. There was a bit of collectible overload in the game, if I'm going to be honest, but that's fine. I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I, I could not imagine anybody actually collecting all of those mushrooms, but I'm sure someone has or someone will at some point. So, all in all, it was a great adventure, and I definitely enjoyed it. I knew it would probably be a pretty quick one, so that's why I put it here, to kind of fill in a gap between a, uh, actually two games I'm trying to choose between that are coming out soon, but I, I think I've narrowed down which one um, I want to do next. So, this has been my playthrough of Lost Ember, if anyone <laughs> has watched this, which some people have, but if anyone actually makes it to the finale, thank you, and uh... I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.